Hello guys, me again. I've been designing for around five years now, both in-house as a digital designer and also now as a freelance graphic designer. I'm closing in on my two year anniversary of that. But during the time that I've been a designer, I've noticed a lot of things that I now consider to be pet peeves. And today I'm feeling a little bit spicy. So I'm going to be discussing these pet peeves that as a designer, I see other designers doing. And I just want to talk about that. So let's fire in. Number one, using the stars in your logo design and the design of your branding assets. It's, it's not original anymore. It comes into the category of, I've seen this a million times before. There's no originality to it. it. It doesn't really add any personality to your brand or the designs of it. As a graphic designer seeing these now, it's starting to irk me. The amount that I see these in graphic design, I feel like it's just lazy and I feel like there's no originality to adding these to a design it doesn't add any personality at all it very very much pigeonholes your design or your logo into the i've seen this a million times before and i feel like i, I just don't engage with it anymore i used to maybe about three or four years ago i engaged with this because there was quite a lot of logos that were using this and it felt something that was quite new but now it just feels it's a very saturated style in terms of design. Number two is misinterpreting colour theory and the use of colour as using combinations that look cute together, including using text as well. So you'll maybe have three colours in total on a design. You run into some problems with this. This probably isn't so much a pet peeve as more of a way to avoid and use colour theory properly. So what you do want to do, make sure your text is as legible as possible. Uh, also consider when you are using certain colours, consider colour blindness and consider people that have sight impairments as well. Design is made to be as accessible as possible, so try and have that in mind. I guess that's not really a pet peeve, that's just more how to avoid, avoid a potential pet peeve of using too many colours. Because ultimately in using too many colours, your design's just not going to work and it's not going to look great. Number three, this is probably the biggest one that I consider to be my biggest pet peeve, is the $50 or £50 logo designer. You are the problem with the design and creative industries. You are part of the reason why artists, designers, creatives as a whole are not paid as a whole. This is where the stigma originates that design art should not be valued at a high price or at a price that it should be valued at because considering the amount of time that it takes us to come up with logo designs the strategy behind that all the other cool assets basically building the identity of a business and of a brand it can take weeks it can sometimes take a month or two to do this so we have every right to charge you know thousands of pounds dollars whatever it is for said project because if you were working in any other industry eh, for a month two months you deserve at least a month's pay for that because what we do as professionals is high quality work it's hard work as well but we manage to do it because we have the skills and experience to execute eh, an appropriate solution for our clients but do make sure that the caveat is do make sure that you are pricing appropriately based on your experience as well make sure that you are developing skills as a designer that are valuable that you consider valuable consider putting out work that mirrors or imitates the work of designers that inspire you and also companies that you want to work for because eventually you'll get noticed and maybe they'll pick you up on a contract or two or offer you a full-time job. Number four is a really quick one. If you are a designer and you're stealing off of stock websites and just websites in general, claiming the designs as your own, you're, you're a problem. Stop it. Learn to illustrate yourself. There's plenty of YouTube tutorials out there that you can use to build and develop your own style. Follow on from number four. 
the designer who says that you are an inspiration to them but they end up copying your entire style your website your work as well that they say that they are inspired by using you as a reference but you're you're stealing you're blatantly stealing somebody's work and somebody's style that they've been working on for months if not years uh, you can get a cease and desist from this you can also get sued from this because it is technically copyright infringement and you're infringing on their intellectual property so don't do that find your own thing number six this one is for all logo designers out there and this one's probably going to ruffle the most feathers you are not a brand designer you're you're not you're an identity system designer. You're a logo designer. You're not a brand designer because frankly, being a brand designer means that you do so much more than just the logo design, maybe the branding guidelines, the strategy behind uh, the logo and the business. Just because you do that as a logo designer and doing you know, all of this does not mean you are a brand designer. Being a brand designer is much more than that. You actually get into the intricacies of the logistics of the business, the product and service development, the customer journey as well. There's so much more to brand design, which can come under the design of the entire business from top to bottom. For example, you probably won't do the marketing, you probably won't do the UI or UX development, that could be an entirely different project if you do, but you don't do everything at once. But I'll put my accountability hat on, I did call myself a brand designer for several years, but then I watched the Futures YouTube video called You're Not a Brand Designer, Stop Kidding Yourself, where Chris Doe goes into the detail of and speaking about why we are not brand designers. I'm not a brand designer, I am an identity system designer. That's what I do. I create the system around about the business that is purely for design purposes, it's purely for a, the visual engagement to represent the business to the best of my ability. But that's it for me. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'd also love to hear your thoughts as well, whether you're a designer, business, agency, whatever it is. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these pet peeves. Personally, the $50 logo designer one, and I think the star logo one, this, that, 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 probably my biggest pet peeves. Like I said, this is all just my opinion. In no way am I going off any facts here, eh, except for maybe the $50 logo designer one, I find that one to be a real problem and that's one that's really, it's a really hard stigma to break as a designer. It's probably the most difficult thing because we as designers find it difficult to speak about pricing, pricing our you know products and services as well, but it's something that does frankly need talked about, but we find it almost taboo to speak about. But that's me guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Keep creating. See you later. Da -da 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 -da. Intro.